Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Store of Uncommoner Edition. Let's see, in our last installment, uh, we finished our round of uh, conversations with people, but we decided, uh, let's have a few more conversations, because uh, honestly we haven't actually been uh, having tons and tons of conversations. We've been sort of taking it, you know, one or two conversations at a time in between quests. Um, let's see, and, uh, when noticed that Alistair and I have sort of decided, hey, I like you, you like me, let's flirt to our heart's content, give each other gifts, and be all lovey-dovey, and she's like, you know, eventually you might have to choose between your relationship and between saving the world, so... And I really don't want Alistair to get hurt, and I can understand that, but... You know? We'll see where it goes, and... But... You're probably right. If sacrifices need to be made, they need to be made, but... If we really lo- If we wind up really loving each other, then... We don't know what will happen. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean... Maybe I'll feel di differently about making that sacrifice... ...later on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Uh, okay. So, what should we do next? Well... Um, 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 let's have another chat with Liliana. I... Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? Oh, um, my hair? Thank you. It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orlé. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. The chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. Ah, <laughs> uh, I would say dear maker, but... That's what I usually say with my human and elven characters, cause, except for my Dalish elf, because she doesn't believe in the maker, but she grew up with the elven gods. Um, poor birds. Yes, I don't envy them. She never washed her hair. Oh, dear God. But I was God. trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I, I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. Well, we are friends, aren't we? Yes, very much so. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. Hmm. Well, you are a treasured friend, Liliana, and I really appreciate having you along. Thank you. I am honored that you feel that way. Aww. Some girl talk! Yay! <sighs> Alright, enough of that. Uh, Let's go pet the dog really quick. We like our doggy. Pet Enzo. You're such a good doggy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, moving right along. Uh, let's have another chat with Alistair because why the heck not? We still got like eleven minutes in this video. So, all this time we've spent together—you know, the tragedy, the brushes with death, the constant battles with the whole blight looming over us—will you miss it once it's over? Oh my gosh! We're having this conversation this soon! Yeah, guys, um... 
Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler! This is kind of a game-changing conversation. Or at least, to me, it was always a game-changing conversation. At least, if you don't know what's coming. Um... But for those of you who don't know, I'm not going to spoil it that much. But for those of you who know, have seen this conversation and know what happens, you know what happens. Um... Well, makes me tear up just thinking about it. You know, I might actually miss all the adventure. Ha! <laughs> uh, there'll be no more running for our lives. No more Darkspawn. Ugh, and no more camping in the middle of nowhere. I know it might sound strange, considering we haven't known each other for very long, but I've come to care for you a great deal. I think maybe it's because we've gone through so much together. I, I don't know. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe I'm fooling myself. Am I fooling myself? Or do you think you might ever feel the same way about me? Oh, well... Honestly, I do really like you a lot. Um... I... I... Well, do you, do you think I could care for a human man? I don't know. I sure hope so. I mean, but, yeah. I guess it really doesn't matter, though. I mean, yeah, you're human, I'm a dwarf, but I like you. But, I don't know how much I like you yet. It's too soon to say. Well, is it too soon for this? Herbicard! Except the dwarf human kissing animation, unless you play the PC version, is like really weird, so. But I don't know. I'm gonna need more testing to be sure. Well, I'll have to arrange that then, won't I? Make us breath, but you're beautiful. I am a lucky man. Now, <clears throat> let's get back to what we were up to before, lest I forget why we're here. Okay, I'm I'm done squealing like like a uh, birdie fan girl whatever. And so Gilda receives her first kiss. Yay. Okay. What should we do now? Derp derpy derp derp. Let's talk to Let's talk. Eh, no. Uh, uh. Um. Wow. Um. You know you're in trouble when you have no idea what to do for the rest of the episode. But yes, uh, so Gilda receives her first kiss and says, you know what? Let's just test this out a little more. Oh, you know what? Actually. Actually. Your desire is my command. Oh ho ho! Really? Your my desire is your command, is it? <laughs> oh, by the way, now that he's that you've kissed him, and now that he's at high enough approval, you can now do this. I'd like to discuss something private. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Well. Okay, first I'm going to have this conversation, because it's a fu- Unconversation. Um, well, you were talking about how you care about me a lot, but even though I'm not so sure how much I like you yet, I need to tell you how much I enjoy your company. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Given the circumstances, things could have been so much worse. I'm so grateful that you're you, instead of some other Grave Warden. Mm, that sounded better in my head. I, I just mean to say that I've really come to care about you. Th 
Thank you, Alistair. Now we just need to be rid of that pesky archdemon, and everything will be back to normal, right? <laughs> and he approves plus two. But yes, you can kiss him now when you're in camp, or even when you're uh, traveling about. Uh, in sadly, uh, you can with the other two romance options, Zevron and Liliana, you can only kiss them when you're in camp. But with uh, Morgan and Alistair, you can even kiss them when you're traveling about, and you can get some pretty hilarious reactions if you have other companions with you, so... Alright, what should we do next? Uh, well, derp. I have no idea what I want to do. Let's see. So, we still have the elves, the dwarves, the Return to Ostagar DLC. Um, but I might actually... I usually do Return to Ostagar around this time. Um, 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 um. And I'll probably take Wynn and Alistair with me when I do... I'll probably take the usual suspects with me when I do that. Um... Let me check... Actually, I want to check, uh... Zevron's stats first. You don't know any lockpicking! Oh my god, you don't know any lockpicking! You... Bastard. You said you were good at picking locks! You bastard! Ah! It's too bad until Awakening you can't retrain people's talents. As you see fit. Which sadly means we're going to have to uh, take our usual suspects with us, although with the elves I might actually uh, drop off uh, I might actually leave Alistair at camp for once. Because he does say a few cool things, but... I'm actually tempted to take somebody else with. Maybe I'll take Liliana and Zevron, and then I'll take Wynn. Mmm... Yeah, I think that's what I what I'll do. But with uh, Return to Ostagar, I'm taking the usual suspects: uh, Alistair, Wen, and Liliana. Let's see. With the dwarves, I'm probably gonna drag Shale along because she's a golem, and I'll probably take Wen. Uh. Yeah, for the dwarves, I might actually leave Alistair there, too. But I'll probably take him along for at least part of the Urn of Sacred Ashes. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait to do Return to Ostagar until, uh, after we deal with the elves. Let's see... And why are we taking Zevron with us? Well, he... Well, then again, Zevron actually doesn't have all that much of a special dialogue if you uh, bring him along. Y you can bring him along, and he'll have some interesting party banter, and you can ask him about the Dalish, but... We can probably do that later, but he doesn't actually have any special dialogue during the quests, as far as I know. The dog, however, it has some interesting interactions going on. 
So I might bring Liliana, Wynn, and the dog with me for part of the quest and then switch out for like Alistair, maybe. Will I ever use Morrigan again, you wonder? I actually will. Uh, during uh, the lands meet, in fact, I usually bring Morrigan with me. And for some of the Denerim side quests. Um, and the goings on there. And with the Urn of Sacred Ashes, I usually bring one of the companions we don't have with me yet. And uh, then one of the mages probably win. And I'll probably take either Zevron or Liliana. Well, uh... With that said, uh, it's probably time for me to uh, cut the video off here. Um, but I will see you on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. Like, subscribe, comment, or favorite, whatever you can do to show your support, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.